This is the solution to question 7, paper 2 of the SQA's Curriculum for Excellence Specimen Higher exam. We're given a function p of t equals 30 lots of e to the power t minus 2. I'm given a couple of statements were asked whether they're true or not. So let's first of all look at statement a. And it states that p of 0 is equal to 30. In other words, if we replace t by 0 in this formula, 30 lots of e to the t minus 1, which now becomes 0 minus 1, then we should end up with 30. Let's check that then. So we've got 30 lots of e to the 0 minus 2 is minus 2. And what does e to the minus 2 mean? Well, it means 1 over e squared. We've got 30 times 1 over e squared. In other words, we've got the fraction 30 over e squared. Now, suppose this was 30. The only way this could become 30 is if it was 30 divided by 1. We would have had to have e squared being equal to 1. Now, e squared is not equal to 1. E is 2.7 and a bit. 2.7 and a bit squared is certainly not 1. So since e squared is not equal to not equal to 1, then we know for a fact that p of 0, when we replace t by 0, we do not get 30. So the statement is false. So moving on to statement b. We're asked to look at p of t being equal to 15, and whether there is only one possible value for t of 1.3. So let's follow this one through. We know that p of t is 30 lots of e to the power t minus 2. And that has to be 15. Well, let's divide both sides of this equation by 15 by 30, we'll get 15 over 30, which is a half. So we have a power statement, e to the power t minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5. Now, any power statement, for instance, like b to the power n equals m, can be written as a log statement, log to the base b of m is equal to n. So the equivalent log statement is that. So in this case, the equivalent log statement would be that the log to the base e of 0 0.5 is equal to t minus 2. Now let's add 2 to both sides. We get log to the base e of 0 0.5 plus 2. Now, there's only one value for this, but is it 1.3 to one decimal place? Well, we'd need to have a look at the calculator to do this. And this calculator, that's the log to the base E button, not the log button LN, is usually what's written on a calculator for log to the base E. So the log to the base E of 0 0.5 plus 2 comes to 0, 1.306, etc., which is approximately 1.3 to one decimal place. So certainly that statement, let's remove this, that statement is true. Well, let's state that. Statement is true. So, yes, no. Let's see if we've answered that. Decide whether the statements are both, the states, statements below are true or false. Justify your answer. We've certainly stated clearly whether they're true or false, and our justification is in all this working.